Hi YouTube family, it's your girl Love Kisses 99 and I'm just coming back to you with another haul video. I've decided to go back to Ingla Cosmetics and pick up a few more things and I won't say that I went overboard because I really don't think that I did. I was trying to get in and pick up a few things before the price increase. Luckily I was able to do so. So I'm going to get started and show you the additional things that I picked up. First, I picked up two more palettes, and I'm going to show you the colors that I bought. I decided to go with mostly greens on this palette, and as you can see, I put little numbers to show, you know, like which colors they are, and the way I was able to do that is I used this pen. It's called a, from the Metallic Collection, and it looks like this. And they have these available at the craft store. And one end has like a pointier point. And then this one, <clears throat> excuse me, has a wider point. And I just use this to mark the numbers on the palette so it would be a little bit easier for when I do a makeup look. I can just reference the numbers. But these are all of the greens that I bought. This one here is like, is a black, just a matte black right here. So these are the colors that I picked up. And for the look that I have right now, I do have a tutorial coming up on this look. But let me just tell you the colors that I used. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. I used 390 all over the lid. I used color number 372, which is here, which is a green. I used 63, which is the black in the crease. I used number 16, like within here and all under here. And then color 351 as a below brow highlight. So those were the colors that I used to achieve this look. And I do have a tutorial, so that'll probably be my next video. Now this is a mixture of other colors that I picked up. And I thought these colors were really, really pretty. So I wanted to add these to my Ingla collection. And the reason I went ahead and got these was because, yes, it is true, they are having a price increase today, Saturday. And the price increase is going to begin on Monday. So the palettes are going up to $80. And the other individual items are going up a dollar or two. It all, I guess it all depends on what their price point is going to be now. But I'm going to keep going and show you what else I picked up. Now I picked up an Inglet nail polish. And this is color 715. It's a pretty like tan color. And this is what it looks like. This one, it's a matte polish. So this is the color of the matte. And then this is the color with the top coat. So I'm hoping that you can see those right there. Now that's the nail polish I picked up. I also picked up a highlight. Um, it's called a, a multicolor system, and this is a highlighting powder. And these hot this number is number 85. This works perfectly for me. It's very hard for me to find a nice highlighter powder that doesn't look ashy, but I did use this one just slightly here, and it actually worked really, really well. So, you can't really see them. If I just kind of swatch them, you can't really see them. But this is color, this is palette number 85, and it's a multicolor system highlighting powder. So that was another thing. And then I picked up the foundation and their colors are MW. Most of their colors begin with the initials MW. Their MW is equivalent to HD here in the US. And this color is MW200 and I am NC45 in MAC. I am HD177 in Makeup Forever. Um, and I have a few more, but I'll list what, they're, what this color is comparable to in the information area. And also, their colors, as I was speaking with the makeup artist that helped me, their colors are not red-based, they're more yellow-based. So this works perfectly for me because by the end of the day, and most shades are kind of go a little red on me after a couple hours, after they oxidize a little bit. But those were the palettes, the highlighter, the nail polish, and the foundation I picked up. And I also picked up a few eyeliner gels. And I'm going to show you these. The colors are phenomenal. 
Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. This is color number 83. I'm hoping it transfers well so you can see it. This is a matte eyeliner gel and this one is, I can't wait to try this color out. The other gel liner that I picked up and it's just like a regular black and this is the one that I'm wearing right now. And these go on ultra, ultra smooth with the thin liner brush. Very easy to use, easy to apply. I love that. Now this is one of the pure pigments that I picked up. I don't want to dump it out. This is color number 68. Oops. And of course I did dump some out. And this is the pigment. I'm going to try to swatch it so that you can see what it looks like. Okay. Now, that is a gorgeous green. I'm hoping that it comes up and it transfers well on the camera. It's a really pretty shimmery moss green. So I picked up that pigment. And also, I'm just going to keep it moving. I picked up an under makeup base, which is this one just comes in a little tube. And it says under makeup base. And it says make skin matte, smoothens, improves makeup application and absorbs sebum. I'm not sure. I'm going to look up that word. It doesn't sound right to me, but I'm going to look up that word and make sure that I know what that means before I give you any more information. Now also, I've picked up, oh, I had another gel line. I didn't even realize it. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous eggplant purple. Yeah, this is like a nice eggplant color and that's another gel liner that I picked up and this is color number 74 and they had a lot of lip paints and lip glosses so I'm going to show you the three glosses that I picked up and I'm going to try attempt to swatch these as well now these are the three that I picked up hoping you can see these they kind of give like an iridescent feel now this one is color number 546 I'm hoping that it really does transfer onto my hand well and this you can wear on top of your lip gloss or your lipstick to give it like a different kind sort of color and I don't know if my camera's picking it up let's move zoom in a little bit Okay, here's this color, and this is color 546, and let me just swatch color number 545. I'm just going to put this one right next to it. And it does seem as if it changes a little bit of color once you put it on. And the next one is color 544. So I'm just going to put this one right here and they all give like a different effect so I'm thinking these are going to be gorgeous on top of a lipstick just to give it a different you know give it a different feel mix the color up a little bit and I picked up lip paints as well so I'm just going to show you the lip paint colors Oops. Now, this is color number 63. You know, I love my neutrals, so this is a nice neutral color, and yeah, this is number 63, so this is a pretty color. And I'm going to try to take some photos of these in case they're not coming across well on camera. And this is color number 57, and it's like a, it has like a pink tint to it. I thought this one was awfully pretty too, so I picked up this one. And the next one I picked up is color number 51. Another neutral, which is what I'm wearing right now. It's like a neutral, like a beige, sort of. And I'm thinking this would look really good with a brown liner, but just blend it in really well, just to give that, you know, effect dark to light. That would be perfect for that. 
And then the last one is color number 55, which is a deeper rose color. I thought this was really pretty as well, which of course I used this yesterday. So I'm looking to make sure that I've shown you everything that I picked up from Inkla Cosmetics. So today is Saturday. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this video up tonight. And check out Inkla Cosmetics. And if you can, find one, call one. I'll leave all the information right down here in the information area. Because they will send you a like an order form so that if you're on the site and you find something that you want, you can call the one closest to you and then they can mail it out to you. So check out Ingla Cosmetics when you get a moment and I'm just going to go put all of my pretty little colors away and I'm hoping you have an absolutely awesome weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye.